today we're doing the three B's back to back baking Bon Appetit style that's why I have the shirt on and we would technically be in this part of the test kitchen and bought the newest Claire Saffitz dessert person recipe book so we're making what is it? <laughs> is that you opening your cookies? Well, since I don't have the cookbook or recipe book, Em sent me a picture of all the ingredients I needed. So I went out and bought them. And this is what they are. Let's start. What am I doing? First, take all your pistachios, put them in the food processor, and we're going to grind them up into small bits. Oh, already? Okay, so typically we'd make this whole recipe in a food processor, but since neither one of us has an ideal food processor, I'm just gonna do it in a bowl. We're gonna combine the butter and the powdered okay. sugar until it's smooth and creamy. Till it's smooth and creamy? Yep. Okay. I cut it up already, by the way. Wait, don't tell me! Wait, this is not back to back. Okay. It's hard when I can see what you're doing. Oh wait, that's true. Don't look. You shouldn't look. I don't think my butter is soft enough. Do I just like keep going until it's like decently smooth? I'm gonna assume it's creamy enough. Okay, what am I doing now? Now we're gonna add the egg yolks and the almond extract. Okay. Now we add the flour or the sugar if you got it wrong in the first step. The white one, right? The, the normal fire. flour. All right. We're gonna transfer about two thirds of the dough into a medium bowl and add the almond flour to that. So, can I? Can I take a third of it out and then, you know? Yep, that works too. A third, but. Um, I mean, the more you take out, the thicker your pistachio layer is gonna Ooh, be. Ooh, okay, I think that's what I want. I think that's what we want, so I'm gonna take out half. I'm going rogue. Going rogue. I'll take out half. Alright. Well, I won't stop you there. If people don't know, I think I've taken people don't know that through. Emily bakes 20 times more than I do, so. We're gonna add the almond flour to the two thirds. Or the half because you're going rogue. I kind of eyeballed the measurements as well, so we're gonna, gonna wish me luck. Okay, what do I do now? All right, you're gonna get a sheet pan of some sort and line it with some parchment paper. Have mine ready. I already did this. Oh wow, now you're ahead of me. What do I do? 
you're gonna put the dough you just made onto the parchment paper put some more parchment paper on top and you're gonna roll it until it's about 12 by 8 inches Alright, we're gonna put it in the fridge for another like 10 to 15 minutes until it's perfect. Now we're gonna make the pistachios. So you take your remaining dough and your pistachios and then you mix them together. Depending how green your pistachios are will be how green your dough will be. Don't look. Okay, what do I do now? I got a firm slab of dough. You're gonna take your pistachio filling and you're gonna spread it all over the dough, but you're gonna leave about half an inch on the long edge. Is this supposed to be spreadable? Wait, what is it supposed to be? A uh, half, half an inch, inch? Leave about half an inch on the long edge of your rectangle and you're just gonna spread it across as evenly as you can get it. Alright, you're basically going to use the tin foil to help you roll up your log. And so you know the half inch that you left? Yeah. That's going to be the very end of your log. Like the outside of your roll. That might have not been the best way to describe it. What? <laughs> We're going to roll up the dough into the log, so a log. Yes. And that half inch seam that you left is the outside. So that's the last part. You should be rolling from the opposite side of that. What? <laughs> the opposite side of that? I don't know. What is that? Okay, where's your okay? Where's your where's the half inch you left? On the long side, like you said. Is it the okay, is it face is it in, on the top or bottom? Wait, am I not supposed to leave a is half? Closer to you half or inch on both sides? You are supposed to leave half. <laughs> One moment. Okay, so I roll from the part that doesn't have this, the half an inch thing, right? Okay. <laughs> it looks like a big burrito. <laughs> I have a good spiral going. It kind of looks like a sandwich because I have it wrapped up. I'm gonna wrap up my little baby. Off it comes. I have my log. My log. I got a little dented in the freezer. Okay, what do I do now? Now you're gonna sprinkle out your sugar onto 
the special sugar. I mean, I guess, the I, guess you could use, I guess you could use a cutting board, but basically just have a surface where you can sprinkle out the sugar and you can roll your log in it to cover the outside of your log. Okay. This reminds me of a churro. You're gonna cut the log in half and then you're gonna try to get 16 pieces out of there. I'm gonna cut the log in half and then get 16 pieces out of there. Yes, so 16 out of the half. So do I still cut the ends? You can. I'm not going to because I'm gonna bake the ends anyways. Okay. But technically you cut So the I'm ends cutting the, the half in half first. Yes. It just goes slow because... Okay. <gasps> Ideally every so often you would roll a little bit to keep your log. It's super round. nice. Okay, what do and I do now? Cut in half. Cut it again. in half again. Cut the half that yeah. I cut in half. Yes. Basically you're gonna have to cut it in half. Okay, now what? Yeah, Wait, pieces. I thought we were saving the other half four equal for pieces. Like Yes we are. Cut the half. So I have the half, three pieces right now. Okay, that's yeah. what I have. Okay, move your half, move your big half away. Okay. Ignore that. Okay, We're I took it away. Now what? All right, and yeah. now you got two pieces. Yeah. Right. Cut them each in half. Okay. To have four. Now we stick it in the oven. It says 15 to 20 minutes, but I feel like we might not need 15. We'll take a look at it at like 12. You have a better style than I do. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you I see, see the comma. Yours is like super <laughs> more fine. I see the comma. <laughs> this is the prettiest one. Ooh. The rest are a little. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This tastes like one of the cookies in the blue tin that you get at the Chinese market. You know what I'm talking about? It tastes like that. I mean, it's like a shortbread. It's pretty good though. It's pretty good. I wish I got more like pistachio flavor. I just taste a lot of the almond extract. Yeah, I agree. I've had it just an almond cookie. Not enough pistachio flavor. Mm. Mm. Maybe if I'm not as finely grind, grind around it, scratch around. I get the little pistachio chunks so I can taste some of the pistachio flavor still. I didn't mean to grind, I didn't mean to blend mine too so much. I did it for like five seconds and it was all the ground. It happens. Well, I'll push back to back. Back to back. Not a good bacon. Pretty good. Remember to like and subscribe.